A hybrid solar eclipse called the Ningalu eclipse is all set to happen on April 20th. This time the Shawal moon which marks the end of Ramzan will be seen with this rare kind of hybrid solar eclipse. This phenomena occurs once every few decades in specific locations on earth. Humans have watched eclipses since before the dawn of written history and during this long span of time our scientific understanding of the physical world has grown enormously. As a consequence, many of the older ideas we had about the causes and effects of total solar eclipses have been replaced by detailed physical explanations. Solar eclipses have caused fear, inspired curiosity and have been associated with myths, legends and superstitions throughout history. Even today an eclipse of the sun is considered a bad omen in many cultures. Ancient cultures tried to understand why the sun temporarily vanished from the sky. So they came up with various reasons for what caused a solar eclipse. In many cultures the legends surrounding solar eclipses involve mythical figures eating or stealing the sun. Others interpreted the event as a sign of angry or quarreling gods. According to Hindu mythology a bee-headed but angry Rahu swallows the sun and the moon causing eclipses. but he cannot hold them for long in his mouth neither does he have his body and hands to grab them and that's why eclipses don't last long in vietnam legend has it that eclipses occur when a giant frog swallows the sun its master lord han then convinces the frog to spit it out the lunar eclipses are also explained along the similar lines chinese myths and dragons are nearly inseparable so naturally you have a dragon eating the sun for lunch thereby causing the eclipse and how does the eclipse end the legend goes that zhang zian the god of birth fired arrows at the dragon forcing it to throw up the sun the chipewa tribe of north america shot flaming arrows towards the sky to rekindle the sun and believed that it was because of this that the solar eclipse ended ancient greeks had a different spin on the celestial event they believed that eclipses were a sign that gods were angry with humans and that disasters would follow bringing untold misery to people there are also a number of superstitions linked to eclipses while many of them have vanished others still persist many people do not cook or consume food during an eclipse in fact a number of people discard cooked food just before this period it is feared that microorganisms grow on food during the time of the eclipse there is no scientific basis for this belief however In the old times it was considered inauspicious to step outside your house during an eclipse. This may have been more of a precaution than a superstition as it was feared it could damage the eyes. And while scientists today do not consider stepping out to be harmful, they do advise against looking at the eclipse with naked eyes. Pregnant women are also advised to not step out during an eclipse as it is feared that this can damage the fetus. This superstition too has no scientific basis. Fear of solar eclipses still exists today. Many people around the world still see eclipses as evil omens that bring death, destruction and disasters. However, not all superstitions surrounding solar eclipses are about doom. In Italy, for example, it is believed that flowers planted during a solar eclipse are brighter and more colorful than flowers planted any other time of the year. Scientists and astronomers around the world have debunked any such claims. There is no scientific evidence that solar eclipses can affect human behavior, health or the environment. Scientists however do emphasize that anyone watching a solar eclipse must protect their eyes. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.